admitting to smoking pot while out on bond. What do you think I, what do you think <laughs> I make of it? What do you think I feel? Skip, you know how ticked off I get on this subject. These guys, I, I really don't know what to say. I, I, I just have to make sure that I maintain my cool and don't go off like I'm tempted to do. How many times have I said, stay off the weed? <laughs> I keep saying it, Skip. Now, I understand the man is under duress. And I suppose and I surmise that it has, marijuana has some kind of calming effect. The man is obviously under stress and duress, considering the fact that you've got child abuse charges going up against you. You can end up serving up to two years in prison if convicted and found guilty, of course. I, you know, your football career, at least for the moment, has been taken away from you, although you've been allowed to keep your $11 million salary. I get it, Skip. I understand. But it, it, it is beyond comprehension that obviously you know smoking some weed would violate laws. You know that while out on bond, it's not something that you're supposed to be doing. You know as an NFL player, you're also not allowed to do it because clearly if you're willing to do it under these circumstances, one would argue you were probably doing it while you were eligible to play and while you were playing. And so again, I, I just don't know what to, Skip, good Lord, thank, th thank the good Lord I am on FCC Airways. I, I, <laughs> thank the good Lord. I, it, it's, it's hard to take, man. It, 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 I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand how these dudes put themselves in this situation. I truly, truly, truly do not understand it. That's the kindest way I can put it. I think to go any further than that, Skip, I, I, I might lose it. I ain't going to lie. Okay. No, I'm just not going to lie to you. Well, let me pick up the ball and try to not run with it, but walk with it. Th this is inexplicably mind-blowing to me. I don't begin to understand what I read last night about what happened. I do know Adrian a little bit, a little bit. He can be a little bit of a weird dude, Stephen A., Sometimes he can be almost naively honest, if you will. So my first thought last night, just trying to give him the first break that I could give him, was it possible, I asked myself, that Adrian Peterson was making a joke about doing a little weed to the tester the way some people used to make jokes, unfortunately for them, as they put their their bag on the conveyor belt at airport security. Oh, I got a bomb in here. Ha, 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 Yeah, and now you're arrested. Well, was he making a joke? Well, surely he wouldn't joke about that. I, I don't know the result of the test. It has not been made public. So I, I assume the proof is going to be in the pudding. Will it show that he did a little weed? And then the next question I, I asked you, Stephen A., was, was he asking for a favor from the tester? This is a tester from an independent agency that works, is hired by the court. And w was he basically trying to say, hey, I'm Adrian Peterson, give me a little break here? I don't know. I, w would he try that? Would he be that naive to try that with a veteran tester? I, I don't know. And then finally, he's hired one of the best in the business in Rusty Harden. And I don't know what he's doing of late. Remember the 11 point response that he posted on Twitter, what was it, three or four days ago, to the allegations against him about his charity? And it, it almost seemed like he had gotten a little professional help on it, some advice about how to craft it, because it was very well crafted. But did Rusty Harden like that, that he's got a jury trial hanging over his head now? It's coming right down the tracks. Do you want to be posting those things on Twitter? before you have your day in court? I, I don't think it's that wise, but that's just me. So wh what is he doing? I don't know what he's thinking. Do you have any, can you explain any of what I just posed I, as questions? Yes, I can. I, I, I can only guess and surmise, but it, it makes sense to me as I think about what your, what your point is, Skip. I've met Adrian Peterson once. It was a few months ago, yeah. actually, for an ESPN event. I was there. I do find him to be a little, uh, a little bit weird in, mm -hmm. in terms of his honesty and whatever. Yep. I like the guy. 
I do too. I'm rooting for the guy. I hope that I, I hope that th that he's able to get past this. That I mean it on that level. Okay. Having said all of that, Skip Bayless, these are some very serious charges against him. I think he's an individual that is obviously his defense is pointing to how he was raised, how he was punished, and how it's something uh, that, that's all he knew and, and that, uh, you know, in mm -hmm. some states it's relatively acceptable, right. although there are lines that you simply cannot cross. Right. And so there's, he's, he's going through a little battle here because on one hand he understands the uproar because we all must protect children. On the other hand, he's sitting there saying, I'm a father. This is my son. This is my child. I just disciplined him. I've never had any kind of criminal record or anything like that. This is the first time I find myself in this situation. And then every time you turn around, whether it's with this charity or with something else, people are trying to bring other things out about him to sort of build a case against him in the court of public opinion. And I'm imagining that if you're the individual in that predicament, you're surmising that this stuff could work to your detriment in terms of a trial because nobody believes that the jury never reads the news or never watches the news or never notices anything about the defendant in question. Nobody's trying to hear that, like you're secluded and you're in hibernation and nobody knows what's going on with you. Nobody has any feelings about you other than the case at hand. Any yeah. defendant that I've ever seen, that I've ever known, is always concerned about what, answer, what, what, what outside things could potentially impact a juror. So I think that if you're Adrian Peterson, you're looking at it from that perspective, and you're sort of trying to stop the bleeding, per se, but he's forgetting that making $11 million, you could afford one of the best. Some would argue you have the best. Therefore, it would behoove you to defer to him on all matters right now because the one in question that really matters is a criminal case against you for child abuse that could land you behind in jail. Yep. So as a result of it, he should be listening to Rusty Harden. He doesn't appear to be doing that. I sort of understand why from the perspective that if you believe that you're innocent or that you're being wrongly accused yep. or excessively accused, and other people are bringing stuff up that has nothing to do with the case to sully your name and your reputation and therefore influence potential jurors to vote against you, yep. you might be concerned about that, and that might make you act out of turn. That's the only thing that I could come up with. Okay, so to sum this up, help me out here, because uh, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know all that much about court proceedings. But from listening to our legal analysts, I I'm pretty sure that the... If, in fact, Adrian Peterson smoked a little weed while he was on bail before this jury trial that he wants, that they're seeking, that that won't be a part of that jury trial. That, that shouldn't influence the case one way or the other. But yet, in this day and age, bombarded by media everywhere, how do you even find the, the, the jurors who weren't influenced by this? Won't they hear it? I mean, how, do you, how can you find 12 well, jurors who didn't hear that he smoked marijuana or said he smoked marijuana while he was out on bail. Skip, it's almost tantamount to somebody, a lawyer, saying something in court, and then the opposing attorney objects, and the, the judge says, disregard that remark. Well, if the jurors already heard it, I mean, you, yeah. you can tell them to disregard it, right. but are they really That's going true. to disregard it? In a case, in a case, of, in a case of Adrian Peterson, no, smoking some weed has nothing to do with this particular child abuse case against him. Right. The problem is it does speak to potential lawlessness. It does. It does speak to You're your right. unwillingness mm -hmm. to abide by rules and regulations right. and, and, and to be prone to doing your own thing. In the eyes of a potential juror, if they look at you that way, that could potentially influence them, and that's where we have a problem. Yeah, so we have a problem. I think we can safely conclude this did not help Adrian Peterson's case in any way, shape, or Not at all. Thank you. Very stupid. From Very a, stupid. From a football perspective, is his Vikings career over? I don't know. They've been speaking lately, reopening the door. Mike Zimmer has spoken lately about maybe cracking the window that if all goes well, Adrian Peterson could be back later this week, uh, this year. This clouds that situation. And I don't know his track record with PEDs, if he was already in the program. I have no idea. So it, it could. Neither do I. Yeah. But, but, but I will say this. If what's hanging over his head 
is the child abuse case and ultimately he's exonerated, the Vikings will take him back. Yeah. And because the city of Minnesota, you got a lot of people in there. Like I said, on my radio show every day on Sirius XM, Mad Dog Sports Radio, people call up. Yeah. And there are people that are against him. And then there are people that are saying, look, he's a parent. He might have went too far, but we're making too much of this. So yeah. if you have people who feel that way, chances are the folks in Minnesota are going to give him a, 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 a pass on it a, so right. long as the judge uh, so long as the court system does the same. I right. think if that happens, I think he goes back to Minnesota. Right. Kerry, I misspoke on, I didn't mean his track record on PEDs. I meant on recreational drugs, the other drugs. Uh, Peterson's yeah. trial tentatively set to begin December 1st. All right. One of the